Now then my friends, I am in the seaside town of Whitby, which is famous for fish and chips and also Whitby scampi. In fact, the other week I was in London and I was at a restaurant and it said Whitby breaded scampi. So it is worldwide famous. I've even heard of it when I was over in the States or some, although I don't think you can get it in the States, but I've heard of it over in the States anyway. It's infamous. So today I am off for fish and chips in the seaside town of Whitby to a place called the Fisherman's Wife, which I'm told is the best fish and chip shop in Whitby. There's also the infamous magpie, which I've reviewed before, and I wasn't overly fussed by that. In fact, if you want to see that review, you can uh, click up here somewhere, and there's a little uh, info there that you click on, and you'll see that review on there. Wasn't impressed at all. In fact, the fish looked like it was a battered goldfish. So today, I'm off to the Fisherman's Wife in Whitby, super excited. Excited. Great day. I think it's a school holidays here in Yorkshire, so it's really busy and I'm super hungry. Don't forget, if you're new to the channel, to like, subscribe and click that little bell for notifications of when I upload new videos. Now, without further ado, my friends, let's go. Oh, right, so there's lots and lots of fish and chip shops here, I've got to say. I mean, it's literally littered with fish and chip shops everywhere. And I know everybody has their own fish and chip shop. Um, personally, I didn't think the magpie that was uh, that good the day that I went, but I know a lot of you actually like it and people have different experiences. It literally was like a, a battered goldfish when I went. I have been to the Fisherman's Wife before, about a year and a half ago with Sarah and Harriet. Uh, absolutely loved it, it was superb. Hopefully it'll be the same today. I'm going to mark it out of 10. I want you guys as well to mark it out of 10 with me. I'm going to get the normal, I'm going to get fish and chips, I'm going to get curry sauce, I'm going to get the mushy peas. I know you can't taste it, but you can go on the looks of it. So I want you also to mark it out of 10 and pop it in the comments section down below. It's right down here. We're going to have a walk over there. It's really busy today. Incidentally, Chris Martin from Coldplay actually had fish and chips there the other week when he was in Whitby. Um, so I'm guessing it must be good. Anyway, come Come on, onwards. Really busy today, coming up to the Magpie on the left here. There's normally massive, massive queues out here. It is a very popular fish and chip shop, but as I say, wasn't overly impressed when I came last. Take a look.
they're in for a disappointment when they get that fish. It's a goldfish in batter. Come on, onwards. Right, so it's basically just up here and if you do eat inside you get a fantastic view of the ocean there uh, absolutely superb a really really nice view <sighs> I really hope these are good because last time I was here they were I've just been so disappointed the last few fish and chip shops that I've been to please don't let me down fisherman's wife Right, so there's a massive queue to get inside, so I'm basically going to get them to take away uh, and then I'll find somewhere to sit and we'll mark them out of 10. Really looking forward to this, so come on, onwards. Hi, can I have uh, fish and chips please? Yep. Uh, one curry sauce, yep. uh, one mushy peas, yep. Diet Coke, yep. uh, and salt and vinegar on them please. $13.94, one second. There we go. Thank you. Right, pretty organised because, oh, the table's not very sturdy. Got a little buzzer here, so that'll buzz when the food's ready. Again, we've got uh, salt and vinegar sachets, they don't redo it for you. I did ask, but there we go. So we've got them, knives and forks, napkins. Let's see what this is like. We've ordered um, fish and chips, we've ordered mushy peas, we've ordered a, um, a curry sauce. So we're going to mark it out of 10. And I want you guys, don't forget to mark it out of 10 in the comment section down below as well, and what you think it looks like. Is that me? Not me. Moments later. Right, I'm beeping, so it's ready. So look at this. Uh, okay, take a closer look. Right, well, first impressions are it looks very thin again. Get very thin fish these days. Not very many chips. Tastes nice though. Mushy peas. At least they're mushy this time. Take a look. Good colour. Mm. 
<laughs> Tastes quite nice. Let's get some salt and vinegar on. One sachet of vinegar, mm, not really enough. Can't even get it open. You don't know. I can't even get the damn thing open. Three hours later. One eternity later. For God's sake. Right, let's taste the fish. Nice and white, but very thin again. It's like they're cutting it in half. It's nice though. Right. Oh, curry sauce is very, very watery. Have a look at this. Taste it. I could drink it actually, couldn't I? Oh. <laughs> A little watery, I've got to say. Very watery. It's got a nice taste to it though. Right, I'm going to eat it, come back to you and mock it out of ten. See you guys in a minute. I was just going to say, is everything alright? Yes, Lord? thank you darling. Okay, thank you. Right, I'll mark these out of 10 on the beach. Take you guys with us. Getting attacked by seagulls. <coughs> I'll see you down at the beach, guys. Before I do, tell me what you think the score is going to be. You rate your score and what they look like down below. See you guys in a minute. I thought I'd come down here where it'd be quiet so I can uh, mark the fish and chips out of 10. But it's absolutely packed here today. It's a lovely day. The beaches though are really, really, really busy. Probably the busiest I've seen in Whitby for a long time, which is nice to see. Anyway, let's find somewhere where I can go a little quieter and mark these fish and chips out of 10. Come on, onwards. Right, okay, so first off, I want to say uh, a big shout out to uh, Gloria who worked up there. She was cleaning the tables, came around, said, is everything all right? She was efficient, she was on it. Um, 
she was really really efficient really nice lady uh, she came over at the end she says oh what's that microphone and it's really nice and she was cleaning the tables sanitizing the tables so Gloria if you're watching spot on there really needs to be more people like you who take pride in the job so Gloria spot on and if you're watching Fisherman's Wife you should give her a raise because she's spot on there we go normally this generation or the younger generation uh, just basically update the status this lady was superb really nice right let's get down to the fish and chips the peas were the peas were okay um, they were all right there wasn't bad um, good consistency at least they were mushy this time and not hard like the other ones I had the other week the curry sauce a little too watery for me in fact way too watery the fish what is going on with the fish these days right it was literally thin now a lot of people are saying yeah that's how haddock is and a lot of other people are saying yeah it's the tail end of the fish it was really really thin and it was a little dry for me as well I have to say wasn't the best fish I've had at all chips again for me not the best chips um, too many little scraggy little chips in there as well not the best chips I've got to say Whitby and I've been to the fisherman's wife before I came here pre-pandemic and it was absolutely spot on it was nothing like that when I came there before I don't know what is going on with fish and chip shops at the moment but I would say probably the best one that I've been to so far is the Draycott one that I went to uh, the other week and that was um, that was really nice and now I know that was cod that we had there this is haddock however I've had haddock here before at the fisherman's wife and it hasn't been that thin some of you are actually saying they're cutting it and slicing it in half some of you are saying you're getting the tail end of it it just was not good very disappointed I mean Whitby this is Whitby you get your fish from here you get your scampi from here what are you doing you should be disgraced really the absolute disgrace you should hang your head in shame with me because if that's the best you can do I'm not impressed at all um, I'll have to come back and try a different place uh, as I say I tried uh, the magpie but I tried that pre-pandemic and that wasn't good I have tried the fisherman's wife pre-pandemic and it was spot on I've got to tell you not impressed at all today um, I'm gonna give that a wasn't overly tasted to be fair because of the view I'd guess six I'll give it a six that's it a six that's all you get in it, I'm not impressed I mean you should get a way better than that for Whitby don't know what you thought you tell me what you thought by the look of it uh, I know you can't taste it I keep saying that but you tell me you give your score in the details down below but fisherman's wife Whitby hang your head in shame come on it's the seaside you should be serving better fish and chips than that. Not impressed, other than Gloria who works there. Guys, that's all from me today. <sighs> Very disappointed. Very disappointed. Don't forget, like, subscribe, click that little bell for notifications when I upload new videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. You know, I've had time to mull this over in my head on the way back to the car and I'm sort of like 20 minutes into my journey on the way back now and I can't help but feel a little short change lately with fish and chip shops. Not everyone's been the same, there has been the odd one that's been nice and that's been really good but Whitby, Whitby fish and chips should be the best they are the best, well they were the best I've been there before I've said it and I just I can't get my head around it the fisherman's wife, I went there with Sarah a couple of years ago, just before the pandemic, I can't get it around my head because there's lots and lots of people in the comments as I said earlier on when I was on the beach saying oh they're slicing it in half so you're getting half of it, you're getting the tail it was disgraceful for Whitby and Whitby Whitby Fish and Chips. I mean, I think I was being generous with the score there, with a six. I think I gave it a six. I think 
think I was being generous. I mean, it's Whitby. It should be a 10 or a 9.9 .9 at least. It's Whitby. And I expected it to be good because I've been there before. Something, I just feel really, really, totally disappointed and let down. I give in with fish and chips. I mean, come on. It's crazy. Absolute madness. I mean, it comes to something when you go to a fish and chip shop on the border of Nottinghamshire and Derbyshire that's better than Whitby. It's not acceptable, Whitby. It's not acceptable. Look at what you're doing, change it, and make them better. You should be the best. People should be looking to you on how to make the best fish and chips in the world. And they weren't. <sighs> Goodbye. Don't forget to subscribe. It's easy. Just click on my little picture on the right there, look. Do it now. Go on. You're missing weekly content if you don't. And also, check out my merch. Click the little cartoon on the left there. See you in the next one.